All right, so looking at question 36, and we have a cuboid. And this cuboid, um, let's see if we have any other information on it. Okay, it says um, the cuboid has a volume of 320 cubic centimeters and a height of five centimeters. Um, if the cuboid has a square base, what is the length of one side of the base? So the base is a square. Um, so it has a height of five centimeters. So we can think of less, we can do this. We don't have to really. Let me get here. It's nice to see this way. Okay. Hmm. Now what I'll do next, let's say we told that the volume of it is 320 cubic centimeters. Height is that, what's the length of one side of the base? Well, now the volume of a cuboid is what? Length times width times height. All right. Well, let's say the length times width here. This is basically the area of a um, rectangle. We multiply by the height, introducing introduce in another dimension, and that's what gives you the volume. So length times width is the area of a rectangle. But since it's a square, that means the length and the width have the same measurement. So we can use a new letter, let's call us S. So S times S, the length of each side, multiplied by the height. So it's basically S squared, times height, which is equal to 320 centimeters cube. Now we can replace the H with what? So S squared is equal, well, S squared times um, the height. What's the height? The height is given to us as what? Five centimeters? Yeah. So we can put that in, right? Now if we want to find S squared. We want to find S really because S is the length of one side of the square base. So I'm going to transpose the 5 over and the 5 will move from multiplication to division. So I'll have here S squared is equal to 320 and the 5 goes from multiplication to division. And let's divide 5 into 5 goes once into 30. 2 goes 6 times. 6 5 30 that is. And the remainder of 2 put it next to the 0. That's 20. 5 and 20 goes 4 times. So S squared is equal to 64. To find S, the length of the side of the square, I'm going to transpose the square over. And when the square goes over, it turns it to square root. And so S is equal to 8, because square root of 64 is 8, 8, 8, 64. So the length of this square base is 8 centimeter. So that would be like this being 8 here, centimeters by 8 centimeters.